all my fellow photophiles. For all intents and purposes, my name is Cube Steak, artist of the mixed media variety. And today we're talking about the infamous, the notorious, the legendary, the fabulous, the fable, the fame, the illustrious, the first man up, El Numero Uno, the Nano Leaf light panels, the supposed head honcho of home decor devices. Today we're seeing if they live up to their name and if they're still in 2020 worth the pretty penny you'll shell out for them. Before we continue, I'd like to remind you that this video is sponsored solely by the like and subscribe buttons. If you like the vid, don't leave them hanging. Your feedback is always appreciated and considered, so if you have a sec, leave a comment or a thumb up. With that said and done, let's get on with the review. My initial thoughts out of the gate were, how in the hell a bit do I construct the massive luminaries pictured on the side of the box without shelling out another 200 for 9 more panels? Well, for my wallet, the answer was dream on, but for my imagination, the answer seemed to be get creative with the placement around the decor of your home. With nine panels, you may not get to construct the epic double diamond or face clan insignia, but you do get the opportunity to highlight the form of your room with simple shapes and designs. What you'll do with your panels is a thought-provoking experience. While you'll wish you had enough to create giant shrines to space invaders or crude dinosaur-shaped monoliths, the limitation of nine panels will actually spur on more creativity in your space. Everything included in the packaging to help you achieve your vision has a purpose. A purpose I seemed to pervert as I threw up stencils and mounting tape haphazardly. But after eventually finding a look that accented my dungeon nicely, I plugged up, stood back, and oohed and awed in the glory of these futuristic decorations. I appreciated how warm the tones were and also how smooth the transition between color palettes was. The panels seemed to have a mind of their own and they brought my collection space to life with awesome spontaneity. They could be bright enough to fill the whole room with color or subtle enough to rock a by this baby to sleep. These lights have dynamic functions making sure you'll find something that fits your environment. I had a couple of concerns while putting my set together though, the first being that the panels and controller devices sort of loosely connect with one another. They do not snap or latch into place and easily fall apart, making it unproductive to create your pattern as one giant piece and sticking it to the wall. Your best bet after creating your design on the wall with the stencils is to attach the panels one at a time. This in itself is still a challenge as you have the sticky mounting tape pieces that get in the way and become a sort of eyesore even though they're necessary for mounting the panels. Other than that, the process of building this design on my wall went fairly smoothly. Again, besides trying to figure out what to do with the mounting tape that nearly drew me up a wall, I had a fun time piecing everything together. But then it came to the quote-unquote smart aspect of this quote-unquote smart device. The ability to control everything with my phone is a feature that manufacturers think that everyone wants these days. If it's a smooth integration, then I would say yes for more. But in my experience, I couldn't help but wish that there was a simpler solution. Pairing my device with the Nano Leafs was more of a pain in the butt than it should have been on both iOS and Android devices. The first day was hell, and leading up to today, it has been hell. Initially, nothing would connect, and marred by my Tello experience, I couldn't help but feel I'd hit the same wall that would hinder my experience with this quote-unquote smart device. When it finally does decide to work, I am able to make full use of the application as the developers had intended. That said, getting these things to connect properly is hit and miss. I'd imagine everyone's experience may be different. Seriously though, pairing a device like this with my phone shouldn't take so much work. This is a huge negative for this product for me. Hopefully a future update will resolve the problems that I had. During the time that it did sync properly, I could say that the use of the application is a lot simpler than I thought it would be. Being an old soul millennial, I wish that changing scenes was as easy as flipping a switch, but with this app I can easily change between scenes created by other users or create my own as well. I wasn't too interested in creating my own scene, so it was nice to see that Nanoleaf has an expansive library of scenes that I could download. Nanoleaf also has a hand guided tour of the application, which could be a warm welcome for those wishing to use more advanced aspects of the app. As for me, I'm not a needy man. I see a scene I like, I download it, and I let it play pretty much the whole day. 
Now I know what you're thinking, and you've caught me red-handed. The title of this video and my review so far don't add up. Are these things worth the price, or are they just another hyped up paperweight? Well first let me say thank god for grandma's birthday money, otherwise this video would not have been possible. As long as these things have been on the market at this price point, if you asked me would I buy them to add to my collection of psychedelic attractions, my answer would be a resounding no. But why, you may wonder. It does everything it says it can do. Why wouldn't I tell you you should run out and get a set, or a dozen, or 30? Well, I would recommend exploring the market for devices that maybe aren't exactly like the Nano Leafs, but do pretty much the same thing. Or explore what you can do with a roll of addressable LEDs, which are a heck of a lot cheaper than the Nano Leafs. Be creative. Companies like Nanoleaf are banking on the fact that you can't arrange lights like this yourself. And that may be true for a large majority of people, but if you're willing to do a little research, you can find a fun way to achieve the same effect for a lot less. In fact, if you haven't already, check out the video on my channel of me making a DIY Nanoleaf panel. This should spur you on to see what is possible with a little ingenuity. However, if money ain't no thing to you, then this would be a worthy addition to your collection, bringing life to your living space and giving your friends another reason to envy your extravagant lifestyle. With that said and done, I'd like to thank you all so very much for watching. Leave a like if you thought this video was helpful and subscribe if you'd like to see more. I want to thank you all for helping my channel reach 300 plus subscribers. Please let me know what type of content you guys like to see in the future. It really helps me give this channel some direction. Again, thanks for watching and Godspeedy Return.